Hello, this is Matt Dragon, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different here today. We're going to be doing an unboxing video, and we're going to be taking a look at the MSI Armor MK2, powered by the Radeon RX 580. Now, I bought this for my computer. Uh, my computer currently has an, a, actually made by the same company, an MSI. It's an R9380, and it's a little bit underpowered. It works with a, quite a few games, some sort of more of the casual games, but I'm looking for something that has a little bit more oomph to it, a little more power, and that's what I'm going to hopefully get from this here today. So, let's take a look on the box here, take a look on the outside, because this is the first graphics card I ever actually have ever ordered, ever bought, uh, and actually it's going to be my first graphics card I've ever installed, so this is going to be a, a bit of a learning experience for everyone. So, on the so let's just go through the steps here taking a look at the outside of the box and working our way in until we look at the graphics card and we'll open it up and then install it onto my pc so let's get the show on the road shall we the box itself on the outside behind the uh, very aggressive looking uh, text here has a, a bit of a scaly look a bit of a uh, carbon fiber look to it and if we look at the back has a bunch of information about the cooling technology, how it's, uh, it's supposed to be able to cool the graphics card better than any other competitor that uses this particular hardware, which, I mean, if I've had MSI and it seems to work pretty well, it has don't have a particularly loud computer because of it, so I can't complain about their technology. As I said, I've never used anyone else's, but as from what I've used, it seems to work pretty well. And over here has information about the features, about all the different things it can do. It has a, uh, obviously we say it has a 580. Uh, I also have the 8 gigabyte edition. Uh, there's two different options, at least from MSI, is that you have a 4 and an 8, so I went with the 8. And another bit of important information on with the outputs, has a two display ports, two HDMI ports, has a DVI port as well. I'm very interested in the two HDMI ports because uh, with my particular monitor setup, actually I only have one monitor, <laughs> uh, monitor setup is a little bit generous. <laughs> the uh, monitor I have has a picture within picture, which is going to be, uh, I believe it has two HDMI ports, so I can plug those in and have the picture in picture, so if I'm ever doing streaming, I can have a little picture off this side in good quality and be able to uh, monitor my stream while I'm playing any sort of games, so I'm pretty happy about that. So, and of course it talks about the minimum system requirements, which my computer does have. Uh, has, has, you have to at least have uh, 8 gigabytes of memory, which mine does. I mean, it, it says it has 4, at least 8. Mine has 16, so I'm, I got that covered. It has the proper ports and everything, so basically the only thing that should go wrong is nothing. This <laughs> is sort of the end result, but... If anything goes wrong, it would be on my end, so it would be user error. So, enough talking about the outside of the box. Let's dig into this box here and see what MSI gives with you with the graphics card. So, let me pop this guy open. Alright, and on the inside there's a cardboard box with what I expect to be is the paperwork. It has a nice MSI embossed on the cardboard. So, let's open this up here real quick. Okay, and inside there appears to be nothing except for this little pamphlet here. And then the pamphlet has some paperwork here. Let's see, uh, we have the drivers and utilities. We have the uh, some stickers of the manual, which is very important. We also have the uh, let's see, the register card, and we also have this very interesting comic here, which gives you all the instructions on how to install it in a very, eh, very cutesy way of doing it. So, as of all the th sort of things I've ever seen that uh, require building anything, I don't think I've ever seen anything done in the style of a comic. So, that's interesting. So, enough about that. Let's take a look at the graphics card itself. And there it is. The. the RX 580. So, still on the cellophane. I haven't taken it out yet. And a little background. I've done this. Take. I've done about five or six takes to try to get to this point. So, this guy's been in and out of the box about a few times. <laughs> so it's. And uh, to, sort of a side note. This thing's actually pretty heavy. 
It's about uh, four pounds. Uh, if you believe the uh, shipping notice I got from uh, Newegg, which is where I bought it. And speaking of that, when I bought it, it was on sale for about $240. Usually they go for about $290, $300, depending where you go. So I think I managed to get a pretty decent deal with this. And of course, this is new. You probably could get cheaper used. But with the market the way it is, uh, with the mining craze, yeah, you probably could get one for cheap, but who knows what kind of condition it will be when you actually get it. So uh, so I think it would probably be best with this to get a new. So enough uh, floundering around, messing around. Let's open up the cellophane and then take a look at this thing without all the glare. So here we are. Outside of its cellophane prison, finally. Now, it had a little bit of a sticker on here. Let's see if I can find it here. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so it's advertising again the Z Zero Frozer. Frozer? Well, so if a bit of a blurb there talking about the fans and everything, it's probably saying, Fans not spinning? Don't worry. Fans stop spinning when on lo low load. So that's good to know. I wasn't. Too worried about this. I have a decent idea of what the graphics cards do, so that's but that's good information to know. So let's take a closer look at the graphics card itself. Now, of course, we have the two fans here on top. Well, actually, this and this top is actually going to be the bottom because the graphics card will be mounted like this into the PC. And here's our back plate. A bit of a an aggressive design there, if you can see that. Yeah, pretty nice. And then, of course, from the side there, we see the different piping and everything to help it release all its heat. And you can see sort of the sides there. We got the all the circuitry and everything where all the magic happens. And if we take a look on the back here, I'm going to adjust the focus here. There we go. There's our different ports. We've got our DVI, our two HDMI, and our two display ports. So... Now that we've gotten a good look at this thing, I'm going to take a quick peek through the instructions here, make sure I'm going to install it right, and then we're going to install it on the computer. Ah! Uh, sound quality change. <laughs> All right. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so here we are. Here's my PC. All right, Just through the window there. It's a pre-built, made by iBuyPower. It's uh, it's a decent machine, as I said. But we're changing out the graphics card today, so we'll just get to that. So I took the screws out from the side panel here, so we're going to take those off. Okay, so we got some screws here on the side take the graphics card out. So we're going to grab a screwdriver. Oh, the wrong size screwdriver. All right. Grab a different screwdriver. Uh, screwdrivers. Ah, there we are. Screwdriver. There it goes. Out oh, nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy. Ooh. Okay. I must have screwed that sucker down there pretty hard. Okay. So I'm taking out this one here. There's two screws here that I'm removing. So there's the second one. So we have two different ports here, we just need to remove. <clears throat> Gosh. Damn one. There it goes. And second one. Ah. There we go. Alright, before I go too much further, we're going to clean out the PC a bit because it's a little bit dusty in there. Alright.
There we go. This should just lift right out. Right? Lift right up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's not lifting out. Remember to press on the OIOC. Alright. No, we don't. That's not helping me. This is... Come on. Just come right out, right? Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, there's a little bit of a doohickey on there then. So there it is without the graphics card. That's interesting. All right, so let's remove the cover. All right, we'll make sure we put that one in the box that this other one came in from. All righty. So it told me that I have to pivot it in. Might help if we hold it the right way. You pivot it in back first. Oh, there it goes. And then All right. Well, it doesn't seem to be sitting quite right. the instruction said. Alright. Come on. There we go. Okay, so there's a little tang there that was holding him. It was fighting me. There we go. There we are. A little finagling, but we got it in there. There we are. Okay. So need to install a six pin an eight pin so it's probably going to be you there's eight pins okay get out of my way there you go thank you thank you you aren't going to come out accidentally, right? All right. So, guessing these bits. All right, we need to bend you out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like it's interesting. Looks like someone sheared this in two. Interesting. Ah, there we go. You're supposed to pull it beyond it. There it goes. Alright, so now all I have to do is just keep those lined up like so and line up with the holes. Come on. Ow. Ugh. I've worked on cars that are less finicky than this. Come on. Alright, so you went in just fine and dandy. Can I give myself a little bit of slack? Uh, well, it looks like that's all the slack I'm going to get. <laughs> Alright, fine. Ah, there we go. Ta-da! Alright! It's plugged in. So, okay. So now it's installed. All right, you don't need to applaud for me there. Well, thing on the floor there is rocking back and forth. Okay, so 
Let's install this back into the machine here. And then we're going to, all right, come on. Then I'm gonna work on a different video here because I'm also going to be working on applying fresh paste to the graphic, uh, well, to the CPU because the CPU, I feel, I've, you know, it says I, I have a bad habit of playing with things and I think I might have lifted the cooler away from the CPU so it's not cooling as well as it should. So I'm going to hope that with me applying some fresh paste, I should fix that problem. So now I just have to re put in these screws. Come on. There you go. Okay, there we go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Go nice and snug. Go until it can't go anymore. All right. All right, that feels secure. Just one quick thing here at the end. I just wanted to show the difference of a new, more powerful graphics card can make. What I'm showing here is a website called User Benchmark, which goes through each component on your computer and does an analysis and compares your computer to other systems. As you can probably see here, there are a lot of yellow and red going on in the analysis before the installation of the new graphics card. So this is an analysis of the old system with the R9 380. In fact, this website considers my computer to be a jet ski when doing the analysis as a gaming system. Now, if we switch over to the new graphics card, it is now considered a destroyer, and a lot of that yellow and red has gone away. So, obviously, installing this graphics card did, in fact, make a difference. Now, I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in and watching me do the installation and the unboxing. And, th and again, I thank you very much, and I hope to see you next time.